In today's video, I'm going to go over a quick tutorial of using Elementor uh, mobile and tablet formatting uh, on your uh, WordPress website. This is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com, and let's jump into it. So you can see my page here, I have um, things built in Elementor, and I have the Elementor Builder open in a new tab right here. And as we can see, I've formatted things uh, for desktop, but if I head in and uh, view my changes on mobile, I might find that some things don't look as great. So uh, for example, uh, maybe I don't want um, you know this size font for mobile. Uh, I have these options to custom change things based on my, um, my screen size. So I have um, uh, the desktop version as you can see here, and then I can also go down into mobile uh, for various things or tablet as well. And uh, one thing I like to do when creating a site is go through uh, with Elementor and um, go through and change things based on the screen size. And while desktop is going to change if you're on a 13-inch desktop versus a 16-inch, it gives you a rough estimate of what things are going to look like. And uh, so we can see here, maybe I want this text to be larger uh, on mobile because it can read a little small. Uh, it's currently set to heading one, but what I can actually do is uh, change that down to paragraph and then I can custom style that however I want. You can see th these are my uh, desktop stylings, um, mo uh, tablet style, uh, stylings, and then mobile. So for mobile, I can set a custom size such as 40. Um, that might read a little better for mobile, whereas with desktop, if I head back over there, I might want to uh, custom. You can see it's very small here now that I changed that, um, but I can head here and do maybe like 60 uh, for desktop settings. And you can do the same thing with like margin and padding. Um, but if you're using the Elementor Builder and you get shocked when you look at the mobile view or the tablet view, uh, you don't have to uh, don't have to worry about that because you can jump in and pretty easily change things like typography size and margin and padding based on the screen size. Or well, one neat trick I like to use uh, when checking out what a site would look like on uh, mobile or tablet is to um, go to my desktop here and make the window not full screen. And what I can actually do is scrunch down this window for the size of a tablet and for the size of a mobile device. So once we scrunch down um, past that breaking point there, you see it goes from tablet formatting uh, to my mobile formatting here. And then this is what it looks like on a phone there. So that's just a neat trick for um, uh, seeing what your site would look like on mobile and tablet on a uh, desktop to test out those customizations. But yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.